Hey everybody, my name is Vince, and uh, today I'm just going to show you a quick little tutorial on how to play Metroid Prime Hunters on a mouse and keyboard. So, if you've ever tried to play Metroid Prime Hunters in the past, you'll know that it gets a little bit janky when it comes to uh, the stylus controls. So, ordinarily, how you would play the game is you would uh, use the stylus hold the stylus and you know redirect yourself uh, you know to, to point and aim and I'll show you like a quick little uh, a quick little way of uh, how it's actually shown so you can see my cursor right here and uh, see as you can see uh, no movement so far I'll just move a little forward. But if you if you hold the cursor, you know you have to hold the the left click. Now it's actually responding to us. Uh, but the thing is, that is just very obnoxious and get a little bit of a problem when you uh, when you inevitably get off the screen. You just see like like uh, like a so, or if you just click off your oops oh no i have unclicked yeah you see that's the that's the kind of issues that you'd normally be dealing with in in metroid prime hunters and also you just that the it can be very hard to actually pay attention so now with those uh issues uh discussed we're gonna sh i'm gonna show you um this little program i discovered um, <clears throat> special thank you to, uh, Finn Ratman, who originally showed me this, uh, in his tutorial, uh, doing it on a gamepad. Uh, this is called DS Mouse Input Fix. Uh, it is a very nice little, uh, little thing we got here. So, if you set it to Metroid Prime Hunters, you'll have it set to some defaults. And let's uh, let's uh, try it out. You'll see that it has turned red. So what you have to do is on the DS screen, click on this corner, the bottom left, and then the top right. And it has a little bit of a quirk of. Um, has a little bit of a quirk of uh, auto firing because it's uh, I'm not sure why it is, but uh, we can aim freely as soon as you just click the button. And the nice thing it does is that it resets your mouse to the center. That is very nice. Can uh, it can trip you up every now and then? Oop. Ow. <laughs> And the super nice thing is that pressing various buttons on the keyboard can actually allow you to touch certain parts of the screen, allowing you to do those specific commands. So for instance, uh, Q can set me to my regular power beam. Uh, the E key can actually assign it to the missiles. So it sets the, uh, so certain buttons can actually set it to certain coordinates. Uh, this is for the alt weapons, uh, let's see, my control key, uh, my left control, turns me into the morph ball. And then you can actually have presets for every single uh, uh, tertiary weapon, uh, I guess would be the best way to put it. Yeah, so this is a very nice little tool we got here. Very responsive and very very good to uh, customize when it comes to uh, aiming. And you don't even have, you just, all you have to do is uh, instead of uh, clicking the button to actually, uh, you know, to actually just uh, point and aim and stuff like that, you can, uh, you can stand click to fire, you know, just like your typical FPS. Very nice, very smooth, very responsive. And um, I think the nice thing is that you can also uh, reassign um, 
you can actually uh, reassign the buttons. Uh, I think it gives you a little uh, a TXT file or uh, something that you can open with uh, Notepad. And you can actually customize it to however you like. So, and to uh, turn off, uh, turn this thing off, uh, you can use uh, right shift to like uh, pause it. And then you can use backspace to actually just straight up turn it off uh, like you see right there. So I will go next to show you some of the basic configurations. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to customize your button presses to uh, anything you personally want it to. So on the top right is um, all the instructions in the README that you get with uh, mouse input fix. Uh, down here we have all the ability to edit our controls. These are these are the defaults. Uh, nothing gets changed over here, but you can change things from here. And uh, what we need to do is actually translate all this code, which is right with what we can do right here. Uh, this is the link that is provided in the MPH uh, controls TXT, and you just uh, plug that in. And then uh, this is the site. So now we're just going to translate everything. Uh, so to shoot, that is the left mouse button, which I've been showing you earlier. Uh, we got a manual reset, which is the middle mouse button. And uh, for our main weapon, that is, uh, I'll just type in F51. And it is the Q key. Likewise, this is going to be the E key. And this is going to be the R key, if I remember correctly. Uh, so we're going to just, uh, we're just going to try editing. We're just going to try something a little different. We're going to try assigning this to... Uh, Let's assign this to the B key just for the just for the heck of it. So number 42. We just uh, change it to this. And then we gotta save it. Alright, it's saved. Control S has saved it. But now we're gonna try testing it out. Alright, let's assign everything. Yeah, it looks like B does it. You just got to make sure to click, uh, just uh, click on the screen again. So yeah, I'm actually using the B key and it's very awkward, but it does work. So yeah, you can actually edit it. You can actually edit it very easily as long as you know a few things about the, as long as you're resourceful enough, as long as you know how to use Chrome. And that's pretty much all I got to show you. Yeah, this... Uh, I will say um, <clears throat> one thing is that um, when you're using the Morph Ball Boost button, uh, is that you can't use the Boost button uh, that you have assigned it to, which I believe is, which I believe um, is your um, is your Imperialist uh, zoom in button as well, so. I don't know why that is. I think it just has to do with the stylus doing his thing. But if I hold B, I can uh, I can boost as normal. The only thing about the only thing is it's uh, a little bit janky. So you really have to you really uh, have to be precise with your with your stylus flicking with uh, emulating the stylus flick. It is not fun. So, thankfully, in the campaign itself, you don't really use the boost button at all. It's really just kind of there just because Metroid Prime did it. And, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I got to describe. Anyway, uh, my name is Vince. Hope you, uh, hope you got something out of this tutorial. And uh, 
So I think I will be seeing you guys.